Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you Hello. today? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you very much for asking. How are you? Your blog is so terrific. I I'm sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Your blog is so terrific. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate your words. <laughs> okay. Um, well, sometimes we need some change, right? <laughs> we need a change. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to get to the attendance list. Okay, I hope we don't have the same problem as yesterday, right? <laughs> yesterday we had this problem kind of um, difficulty, right? All right, people. So now we are going to start a class. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, I hope everybody have had um, has had a very good day. I hope you feel okay tonight. I'm going to ask just one question, okay? Between 1 and 10, how do you feel tonight? Sergio, from 1 to 10, how do you feel tonight? Repeat, please. From 1 to 10. How do you feel tonight? One is bad. Ten is good. Nine. Nine. Okay. Yolanda, how do you feel tonight from one to ten? Six. Oh, okay. Are you tired? Oh, all right. Jenny, how do you feel tonight from one to ten? Miss Yanni, she got disconnected. Jacqueline, from one to 10, how do you feel tonight? Hello, teacher. I'm Hi. so tired, teacher. La okay. gripe y la tos me están matando. No me oro. Todavía está así, niña. Sí. Ay, Dios me guarde. <laughs> pero, ¿sí se está medicando? Sí, bastante, pero eh, a saber qué tengo. <laughs> <risa> Ay, Dios mío, que lo siento. Así como llegó, se le va a ir, ya va a ver. Así como llegó, se le va a ir. El primero. Gracias. All right. So, everybody, let's uh, try to define how much you feel okay from one to ten. Right? We are counting from one to ten. Let's rank our feelings tonight. Walter, from one to ten, how do you feel tonight? Hello, please. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Yes. You're my team. You're my team. Yes. <laughs> there you are. Diana, from one to ten, how do you feel tonight? Um, eight. Eight? Oh, okay. Yeah. You have just two points to be okay. All right. Harrison. The oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the traffic. All right. <laughs> the traffic sub subtracted. The two points, okay. Karen Hemina, how are you? Miss Karen? Good How are you tonight? From one to 10, how do you feel tonight? Está en el camino, creo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Mm, 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 oh, she got disconnected too. No, she's over there. What's the weather like in your place? In your places, guys. What's the weather like? Is it raining? No, yes. Is it cold? Is it hot? 
What's the weather like? It's Diana? It's cold. It's cold. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe can rain. Rain. Okay. Can, will be rain. Okay, it might rain. It might rain. Mm -hmm. It okay. might rain. All mm -hmm. right. Nine p.m. You think so? Oh, okay. Okay. What about in your place, Jenny? Is it raining? Jenny, don't get disconnected. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. Is it raining? Raining. Raining. ¿Qué significa raining? Lloviendo. Raining. Ah, I don't know. No está lloviendo. No raining. Ah, okay. No, it's not raining. Say, it is not no, raining. No, it's not no, raining. It okay. Is. All right. Well, now we are going to continue, guys. Uh, we have these two modal verbs that usually we uh, exchange in the usage. We say we need to, we have to, right? But we are going to practice today with these... Um, Two modal verbs. Remember that the modal verbs are auxiliary verbs, helping verbs, okay? And if we have them as a helping verb, we need a main verb in the sentence, right? For example, I could say my obligations, saying I have to get up early in the morning. I have to get on time to my job, okay? I have to go to the doctor because I have an exam, right? Or a test, a test. Okay, uh, maybe I could say I have to, um, I have to buy a house, okay? I have to buy a house. Maybe I'm thinking, right? As an obligation from, from my own, yeah? It becomes from a desire to an obligation, right? I need to find for a place where to live, right? I need to find um, a place where to live. Okay, people, so obligations in my job. Obligations in my job. I have to... Open the door. I have to um, greet, right? I have to be respectful. I have to prepare documents. I have to do the purchases. I have to collect money from the public. I have to cook. I have to, mm, what else? I have to call tell me clients. guys. I have to call clients. Yes. Uh huh. I Drive have to. Home. I have to prepare my. I have to write clients. To write to clients. Write mm -hmm. to clients. Yes. Uh huh. And Adriana. I have to prepare my breakfast in the morning. Okay, mm -hmm. you don't have anyone else to do it for you, so you have to do it, great. Mm -hmm. So these are like obligations, but what if we need something? For example, I need to I, use calculator. I need to use a calculator because I'm not able to do uh, the math mentally, right? Maybe they are big amounts and... <laughs> You know, I'm not so great with numbers. <laughs> yeah, I need to use a calculator. Mm -hmm. okay. I need to use my cell phone teacher. Okay, I need to use my cell phone. Yes. To do what? To do what? Uh, what do we use our cell phones for? ¿Para qué usamos el celular? A ver. In my we job use... is for the... The send the, the WhatsApp for the 
¿Cómo se dice padre? Parents. Parents. Everything. For the, for the communication with, with my clients. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. So you need your cell phone for calling, for receiving uh, calls, for sending texts, right? WhatsApp and all the social media, right? All the social networks. Uh, we need our cell phones to go on Facebook, to go on Twitter because of the job, okay? Because of the job. Not TikTok, right? Not TikTok. <laughs> uh -huh. A photo. <laughs> okay. So, yes, that's what we were studying yesterday. We were talking about obligations. We were talking To about listen needs to music. or necessities. That's true. We need our cell phones or we use our cell phones to listen to music. That's that's right. Mm -hmm. And if you have your your accounts of Netflix, Prime Video, Amazon, uh, well, Amazon is Prime Video. Um, no, uh, HBO, HBO Max, right? So whatever <laughs> you need to, you have it on your phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. To go to my drive. to access my files, to access my files on the cloud, right? Teacher, one a question. On the cloud. One a question, teacher. Okay. How do you say eh, no, no necesito el teléfono en mi trabajo o eh, no tengo que usar mi teléfono en el trabajo? How Okay, do you two say in things. English? I don't need to use my cell phone for my job and I don't have to use my cell phone in my job, right? Two different things. Okay, Obligation, thanks. obligation, it's a rule, a prohibition that you, you don't have to, right? But if it is something necessary to do your job, then you're going to say, I don't need it or I need it, right? I need to use it. I don't need to use it, okay? Is it okay? Yes, okay. Teacher, en mi caso, use Google Map in my phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the Google Maps. Mm -hmm. When you drive, right? Find the, Yes, this is my motorcycle. the different places. Okay, mm -hmm. so you ride a motorcycle. That's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, Harrison. I see you are tired tonight. Are you tired? Hello. Hi. Okay, people, let's continue then. Let's continue because today we want to see some expressions to state urgency. Okay? To state that something is so urgent that it can't wait anymore. So we are going to use two or... three ways to say this okay using the verb need using the verb need but first of all let's go and allow me just to introduce the class right i will introduce the class officially this is what i don't remember with which one was mm -hmm. here we are So we have, today is our class number nine, and today we are going to practice and do a review, also the practice of have to and need to, vocabulary and grammar, okay? Teacher, excuse me, uh, ya pasó lista. Mm -hmm. No, no, I haven't yet. Mm -hmm. I'm almost, I, I'm about to do it, all right? 
Okay, people. Today is our video conference number nine. Welcome, everybody. And we are going to review and practice grammar and vocabulary, how to and need to. Our agenda tonight is um, our, objective, our objective presentation. We have some feedback about how to and need to. And in the breakout rooms, we are going to try to do a reading exercise. Then uh, we're going to continue talking about the obligations, needs, or necessities in the negative statements and also with questions. And we have some online worksheets tonight, okay? The session one-on-one -on -one tonight is for the number nine in the list. So let's look at some feedback, yeah? Well, we did our feedback already, right? We did our feedback already. So let's look at the class objective. We want to express obligations or needs at the workplace. Obligations or needs, okay? Needs, the same as necessity, okay? Necessity. We could say necessity or we could say needs. It's the same thing, okay? Like a synonym. Here we are. Remember the question that we uh, learned yesterday? Do you remember? What do you have to do in your job? Which ones are your obligations? This is what this means, okay? What do you have to do in your job? So let's make a list, okay? Let's make a list. Three things, okay? Three things. I will get them from the chat. Everybody writing, I have to, and then you write your obligations and your job, okay? What do you have to do in your job? Three things. I prepare a report. Okay, please send it on the chat. I have two. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice uh -huh. asistencia? Assess. Assess. For assistance. Give assistance or to assess. Teacher, ¿se puede decir eh, install aircraft components? Yes, but you have to use I have to, right?
Okay, let's transform these into third person form, okay? Uh, for example, who has to check assistance? Who has to check assistance? ¿Quién tiene que hacer eso? Who has to do that? Ya ¿Cómo se dice marcar? Mark. Uh, mark the face, the, uh -huh, con el rostro, the face, the, the, la entrada y la oh, salida. Oh, mark the entry. Mm -hmm. Mark the entry, mark up. Mm -hmm. Jackie has to check assistant. Okay, very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Jackie has to ah Jackie Jackie fue la que escribió esto. Y aquí. Yeah, fui yo. Ah, vaya. Entonces, en este caso, es, usted está hablando de la asistencia, no de sus asistentes. O sea, de los que le ayudan. El que le ayuda no, se de... llama assistant. El que le ayuda no, se llama. No, estoy hablando. Assistant. No, yo no tengo asistente. Ok. Ajá. Estoy hablando de mi asistencia de niños. Vaya, yo debo ahí, revisar la vaya. asistencia de ellos. Ok, entonces esa no es assistance, no. ni la de aquí. Venir aquí no es assist. Venir aquí es attend. Entonces la lista sería uh, Jackie has to check the attendance. Ok, the attendance, no the assistance. Ok, así sería Jackie tiene que chequear la asistencia. Okay? Check the attendance, o sea, pasar lista. ¿Verdad? Jackie has to check the attendance. Ajá. Vamos a ver entonces, next one. I have to file documents. Ajá. Carla has to fill documents. To file, to file. To file documents. Yes. To file documents. Who has to check reports? Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos has to send the report. Uh, he said check, okay? Uh, check the report. Check, check. Okay. check the reports. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who has to arrive early? I think everybody, right? Entonces pongámosle, everybody has. Okay, siempre que digamos everybody lo vamos a usar como tercera persona, okay? Everybody has to arrive early okay um who has to take the orders who has to take the orders Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about send the reports? Who has to send the reports? Mm -hmm. 
does Sergio have to send reports? Juan Carlos has. Right, great report. Juan Carlos, see, sí, Juan Carlos has. Okay. Has. To send the report. To send the report. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. What about to manage the employees? Who has to manage uh, the employees? Person has to manage my employees. Manage his employees. My no, verdad? Sino que los de él. His employees. Okay. What about uh, call clients? Who has to call clients? Sergio has to call clients yes okay. great mm -hmm. now let's look at okay yes Juan Carlos that's true in the third person uh-huh uh Maria Fernanda we can say pass assistance pass the attendance okay uh let's see uh mm -mm, teaching all right, send reports, do test. Ajá, pero ahora, poniéndolo como una obligación, María Fernanda, tenemos que ponerlo con la oración completa. ¿Cuál es su obligación? I have to do the test. Okay, to do the test. I have to give educational therapy okay okay i have flor seria i have to respond O puede usar cualquiera de los dos. Reply. Okay. Respond or reply the WhatsApp account. Okay. The WhatsApp account. Okay. Now let's transform these into the third person. We have, I have to attend emergency calls, right? Who has to attend emergency calls? I. I mean, Walter? There you are. Ok. Estamos entonces. Esta es la forma de hablar de responsabilidades o de obligations. Obligations, responsibilities in your job. Things that are um, activities you have to perform because of your contract, because you have been hired to do those activities, okay? So those are your responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, third person has to, and the plural, and I, and you, singular, have, right? Have to, have to, has to. Two obligations, right? So let's think then about the things we need to do now.
have to take class, have to check my tools. Ok. Very good. Cuando nosotros preguntamos, como la pregunta que yo hice el día de hoy, ¿sí? mira, ¿y quién tiene que hacer eso vos? Ok. Who has to do it? Ok. Who has to do it? Who has to check the attendance? Who has to file documents? Who has to check the reports? Who has to take the orders? Who has to manage his employees? Who has to call clients? Who has to attend emergency calls? Who has to take classes? Who has to check the tools? So, eso es lo que se pregunta acá. Who has to do it? Lo que cambiaría en el do it sería la actividad. Okay? ¿Quién es el responsable de hacer esa actividad? ¿Ok? A ver, entonces, solo para ver que vamos cabal. ¿Cuál es la pregunta entonces que acabamos de aprender ahorita? Who has to do it? Exactly. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a cambiar nada más acá? Who the has to do it. Exactly, exactly. The activity. There you go. So now let's <clears throat> move just a little while. And let's take the attendance. So please, everybody remember to turn your camera on. And when I call your name, please say present. But you are going to say the question who has to and then one activity okay no answer just a question all right there we go you ready ready everybody ready to go okay the problem is that adriana adriana are you ready miss adriana are you ready Ok. Adriana Elise Chávez López. Present teacher. Eh, no entendí qué era lo que tenía que hacer. La pregunta que acabamos de aprender. Eh, who has do it? Ajá. Who has to? Y tiene que poner la actividad que usted quiere saber quién es el responsable de hacerla. Ah, uh, una de las que pusieron aquí. Exactly. Who has to eat? Uh, who has to eat to okay. check reports? Ok, en vez de do it, mm. usted le, le borra el do it y tiene que decir, who has to check the reports? Okay. Who has Vamos. to check the report? Thank you, Adriana. Yeah. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez Arevalo. For instance, who has to call clients? Okay. Ahora, con sentido de pregunta, acordémonos con esa entonación. Vaya, vamos a ver entonces. Eh, Flor de María. Eh, present teacher. Who has called su suppliers? Suppliers, proveedores, no sé. No, no, the, the beginning. Repeat it, please. Who, who? who has uh, called su suppliers? Okay. Who has to call, call. suppliers? Call uh, suppliers. Tiene que ponerle el to, si no, no sería okay. lo que estamos aprendiendo. Entonces, who... Has, has to, to mm -hmm. who has to call suppliers. That's great. Okay, Francisco Javier Quintero Echeverría. Present teacher. Who has to manage his employer? Okay, ese se pronuncia manage. Manage, manage, como que fuera una che al final, manage. Uh, manage. Yes, thank you. Jacqueline Semara Araujo de Sura. Present teacher. 
Who has to emergency emergency calls? Answer or attend, right? Answer. Mm -hmm. Again, again, Jacqueline. A ver, who who has to to attend emergency calls? Okay. Me aquí hay una palabra. Sí, hay el, el verbo en este caso quizás sería answer, answer, ¿verdad? Attend estaría bien, pero es más answer, ok. Uh -huh. Pero sí, es emergency call, emergency call. Dígalo conmigo, Jacqueline, emergency call. Emergency call. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Sí. Who has to send emails? Great. Carla Nayeli Machado Ramos? Yes. Present. Who has to take the orders? Very good. Kimberly Nayela Miranda Díaz? Nayeli. Present. Who has to have to take class? Again, please. Uh, Please repeat it. Who has to um to take the or others? No, I don't get it. I don't get the activity. Who can you repeat it, please? Who? Ah, es que no entendí. Estamos diciendo la pregunta. Who has to... Y pone la actividad. Who has to... Ah, ok. Who has to... Has to take the others. No sé si... Eh, el final, sí. Oh, oh, oh. Take the orders, okay? Who has to take the orders? Who okay. has to take the orders? A ver. Who has to, to take the or, or, orders? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. María Fernanda Morán Rivas. Eh, present. Um, who has to call clients? Very good. Merari Andrea Sanchez Facundo? Present. Espera que me la ganó. Me la me ganó ella. <laughs> Voy a buscar otra, permítame. Who, who has to send the reports? Okay, send the reports. Send the reports. Reports. Send the yeah. reports. Yeah. Salomón de Riverto <laughs> Rivera Chacón. Mr. Salomon, not yet. Okay. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present. Who has to write to clients? Okay. Solo que no vamos a decir who. Vamos who. a decir como cuando who llamamos has. al perrito y le decimos que siga a alguien. Who, who, sígalo. Ese mismo sonido. Who. Ese es who ese. Has to run to client? Yes, very good, Sergio. Uh -huh. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Girón. No, yo puedo poner la cámara, Ticha. Es que estoy en el teléfono, pero okay. presente. Okay, just tell me the the, me the la exam. Ah, okay. Era who has eh, to este, to call a friend? Creo que sí, Eva. Again, again. Who has to call a client? A client. Call a client. All right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Walter Amirka Ramirez Molina. Present teacher who have to visit clients. 
Very good. Wendy Sofía Orellana Calderón. <laughs> Miss Wendy. Not Wendy in yet. Oh, guys. Wendy Janet Baires Rojas. Present. Um, who has to attend emergency calls? Emergency. Okay, sería emergency calls. Emergency, emergency calls. Emergency calls. Yes. Ahorita que estamos aprendiendo, yo les sugiero a todos que exageremos la pronunciación. Exageremosla a manera que nuestro cerebro grabe esos sonidos que no tenemos todavía en nuestro eh, aparato fonador, ¿verdad? No tenemos ese sonido formado. Entonces, hay que obligar al cerebro que eso se grave. Exagérenlo. No tengan miedo ni pena. Abran la boca. Open your mouth. Todos, ¿ok? Exagérenlo. Poco a poco, eso se va a volver natural. ¿Ok? Poco a poco. Bye. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, Jenny Carolina Tobar Velázquez. Present. Eh, who has to file documents? All right, very good. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Sí. Who has to manage his employers? Okay, to manage. To manage. Manage. Mm -hmm. manage. Okay, there you are. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any question so far, guys? Any question? Are we, are we okay? Solo en esa pregunta estamos preguntando quién hace esa acción, ¿verdad? O, o ese... No. ¿A quién no. le toca hacerla? ¿O quién es el responsable? ¿Quién ah, tiene quién qué? Que hacerlo. Vale. La, la traducción literal es ¿Quién tiene qué? Así como cuando estamos haciendo el plan B ahorita, hey, ¿y quién tiene que hacer la llamada? Hey, ¿Y quién tiene que traer la pizza? ¿Y quién tiene que traer los vasos? ¿Quién tiene qué? ¿Ok? Pizza list. Ok. Hey, hello. Hey, emocionados. A ver quién. Ok. Oh, it's a cat, maybe. Right. Is it a cat? All right. All right. Continue, guys. Continue. Bien, eso sure. es. Ajá. Este, no sé si me puso asistencia porque no me mencionó. Ay, no puede ser que lo hayan funado, niño. No son bromas. <risa> vamos a ver ahorita. Igual a mí. No, no puede sé si me puso. ser. A ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Ajá. No, como no, sí les puse. Number five. Ajá. And... Sí. sí, sí, sí le puse eso. Okay. Le puse, fíjese, no sé por qué me salté y le puse. A ver, Gerson Osvaldo. <ríe> Ajá. Your example. Who has to visit clients? All right. Very good. Very good. Y de ahí sería Karen Gemina, ¿verdad? Sí. Le... Ajá. Who has to check report? All right, very good. Uh -huh. No sé por qué me salté, jóvenes. Quizás por Karen, porque hace un ratito estaba caminando, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, Lick. Ajá. Ok, pero con Gerson. ¿Cómo se me fue a pasar Gerson? Bien, vamos a ver entonces. Bueno, eso es con obligations. What about needs or necessities? Things that we need to do in order to have other things done or any other goal achieved, right? So uh, allow me just to show some examples, okay? These are sentences as examples and you are going to read them and we are going to do the same thing. We are going to transform them into negative and we are going to try to do questions, okay? So, um, first of all, I will show you, I will show you the negative, okay? What's the negative structure? And then 
we are going to see the examples about need. Okay, need to. So here we are. We use don't and we use doesn't because we are talking in uh, the simple present tense, okay? If I talk about my obligations, I always talk about them in the simple present tense. For example, I don't have to call clients, right? I don't have to, okay? My boss doesn't have to print the reports. My boss doesn't have to print the reports, okay? Doesn't have to. And what about need? In the simple present tense, we are going to use Marta doesn't need to use the microwave. Marta doesn't need to use the microwave. Doesn't need to. Aquí ya no agrego letra S porque ya tengo el auxiliar de tercera persona. You don't need to go to New York to eat a good pizza. Okay? You don't need to go to New York to eat a good pizza. Ok. Entonces vemos. Usamos don't and doesn't. Veamos entonces some examples of the usage of the modal verb need to. For example, It needs to rain this winter. It needs to rain this winter. Okay. I will move just a little bit. So it means that necesita llover o nece se necesita que llueva. Este invierno, right? It needs to rain this winter. El Salvador needs to invest more in education. Okay? El Salvador needs to invest more in education. Keep it a secret. They don't need to know. Okay? Keep it a secret. They don't need to know. The animals need to find water to survive the drought. We really need to learn English in a year. I need to spend more time with my kids. I need to spend more time with my kids. The children need to play in the learning process. She needs to go on training to start her new job position. Okay? Entonces, veamos que para que una cosa suceda, se necesita la otra, ¿sí? Y, por ejemplo, también cuando hablamos de necesidad, solo porque es necesidad de esa acción, de que esa acción suceda, usamos también need to, ¿ok? Need to, need to. Para la tercera persona, need to. ¿Cómo sería la primera en negativo? Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Negative. It, it doesn't, it doesn't need to rain this winter. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. What about the number two? El Salvador doesn't need to invest more in education. What about number three?
sorry guys this thing is not working properly pero teacher la tres ya tiene don't uh -huh, uh -huh. so let's transform it into a firm It could be a secret. They need to know. Don't keep it a secret. Lo podemos poner, ¿verdad? Y eso no es lo mismo, siempre lleva todo. Uh -huh. Pero, ¿cuál es la acción que no vamos a hacer para que la otra se suceda? Vamos a ver. Aquí decimos, manténgalo en secreto, ellos no necesitan saber. Pero en este es al revés, no lo mantenga en secreto, ellos necesitan saber. ¿Ok? Okay. Next. The animal doesn't need to think water to survive the drone. The drought. Ok, en este caso, animals es plural. Entonces vamos a utilizar don't, ok, porque es plural. The animals don't need to find water. Maybe there is a um, well over there where people can give them the water, right? So they don't need it. Next. We don't really need to learn English in a year. Okay. Mantenemos la posición really de really ahí. We mm -hmm. need to learn English in a year. Exactly. We really don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. I I don't need to spend more time with my kids. Ahí sí sería teacher don porque está hablando en plural al final, no. Estamos conjugando por me, por el sujeto y el sujeto es I. Ah, sí, 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 I, I, no lo había visto. Okay. The children don't. The children don't need to play in the learning process. Okay. She doesn't need to go on training to start her new job position. Position. Okay. I hope you can see the difference between the negative 
and the affirmative, okay? This is when we talk about necessities, okay? Any kind of need you could have, okay? Any kind of need your company has, okay? Now, let's continue doing our exercise, okay? What do you need to do right now? The first picture. Mm -hmm. I'll read my own time. Mm -hmm. I need to be on time. Okay. Mm -hmm. She needs to get up earlier. <laughs> okay. She needs to get up earlier. Ella necesita levantarse más temprano, right? <laughs> okay, so, but, okay, that is not possible anymore, so I need to be on time. Mm -hmm. I need to get a taxi or take a taxi. Yeah, I need to take a taxi, right? Uh -huh. I need to run in at work. <laughs> yeah, I need to run to my work. Aquí existe un, un verbo para decir to run. Ok, como decir, sí, necesito correr, ¿verdad? Pero nosotros en español tenemos púrese, vea. Ajá, necesito apurarme, ¿ya? Apurarme. Entonces, eso se dice, I need to hurry. Okay, hurry. I need to hurry to get on time. Me, necesito apurarme para llegar temprano. See, ¿sí? I need to hurry to get on time. Okay? Are we okay so far? I need to drink coffee. Okay. Me too. <laughs> so do I. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to drink coffee. Mm -hmm. They need to prepare some coffee. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tea or milk. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this one is coffee, right? Because it's a coffee maker with 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 milk, all right? With cream. Yeah. With milk. Yeah. With milk, all right? Milk and coffee or coffee and milk, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, I need to drink coffee. I need to drink with tea. some milk. Okay. Okay, like Yolanda, right? Yolanda too, okay? So, let's look at this one, the red shoes. Mm -hmm. What do you need to do right now? I need to discolor the shoes. <laughs> I need to discolor, no, I don't think so. It's very <laughs> nice, the red color. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I need to buy red shoes, okay? I need to buy red shoes, red shoes. Mm -hmm. I need to um, buy some high heels. Okay. High heels son tacones, okay? High heels, tacones altos, zapatos altos. Okay, so I need to buy some high heels. Okay, 
What about this one? The rings. I need to get married. Okay, do you need? Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to get married. Okay. Married. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to get married. Mm -hmm. What about this one? This one. I need to write a letter. Okay. I need to take notes. Okay. I need to take notes. Make note. I take. need to make note. Uh, well, actually, it's take notes, right? Take notes. <laughs> I need to do my homework tonight. I know you need it, right? I know you need it. It's not just that you have to, but you need it to pass the course. Okay, what about this little finger, this little thumb? Well, these are not fingers. Estos son toes, okay? Los de los pies no son fingers. Los de los pies son toes. Y este siempre es the big toe, okay? Este es el dedito gordo del pie. Aha, what do you think this person need to do I need right to now? Heal my Big toe. Again? I need to help my, my, ¿cómo es que dice que se toe, big toe. Uh -huh. Big toe. Uh -huh. I need to heal my big toe. Okay, well, actually, my, my big toe needs to heal, <laughs> right? Yes, I need to go or to have a pedicure. Okay. Yes. To have I a need, pedicure. Uh, I need to cure my tooth. To cure? My tooth. My toe. Toe. My toe? Toe. Okay, to cure it. Mm -hmm. I need I need to visit a doctor. Yes, yes. I need to yes. visit, <laughs> visit a, a doctor. doctor. Okay, I need to visit a doctor. All right, and what about with the food? Mm -hmm. What do you need? What does he need? I need to on time. <laughs> oh, I need it chicken. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need to eat to chicken. Uh -huh. I need to eat pacaya. <laughs> yeah, y fíjense que mi hermana cuando estaba pequeña y eh, bueno, mi papá le encantaba mucho los rellenos de pacaya. Y entonces, a saber cómo, y, y, y ella, mi, mi hermana decía así, porque decía, para decir rellenos de pacaya, decía acacanga. <ríe> acacanga, y eso quería comer acacanga, igual que mi papá. <ríe> acacanga. Y ese es un buen ejemplo, ese es un buen ejemplo a lo que yo siempre digo. Cuando usted aprendió el español, usted lo aprendió escuchando, ¿verdad? Ella creía que lo decía bien, ¿sí? Y usted, por ejemplo, cuando le pedía agua a su mamá, aba, ¿sí? Aba, una sola palabra y medio dicha. Tardó varios años para poder armar bien sus frases, ¿verdad? Es lo mismo con cualquier idioma, ¿ok? 
es lo mismo con cualquier idioma. Aprendemos lo básico escuchando e imitando. No lo aprendemos leyendo ni escribiendo. ¿Ok? Así no lo vamos a aprender. Vale, vamos a ver entonces, continuemos. Let's continue with the example of the food. I need to eat um, chicken. Ok. I need to eat chicken. Yes. I need to eat right away. Yes, I need to eat right away. Yes. Mm -hmm. I need to eat to drink oranges. Okay, I need to drink orange. The attendance teacher. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Teacher, I need, I need to, to take the time. attendance. I'm sorry, Francisco, again? I need to eat on time. Great. Mm -hmm. That's a very good example. I need... There you are. I need to diet. <laughs> uh -huh. Eso se dice, I need to go on a diet. Okay, necesito hacer dieta. Eso sería, I need to go on a diet. Well, I don't need it, even if I'm, I'm a little fat. Okay, but um, I don't need it. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I need to go on a diet all right let me see okay i need to go on a diet eso significa necesito ponerme a dieta Okay, people, allow me just to call the roll. So please, everybody, remember the requirements are that you have to turn your camera on. And when you listen to your name, please say present. Adriana Elisa Chavez Lopez. Present. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez Arevalo. Present. Flor de Maria Valladares de Torres. Present, teacher. Francisco Javier Quinteros Echeverría. Present teacher. Gerson Osvaldo Deras Santana. Present teacher. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo de Sura. Present. Juan Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Present. Karen Gemina Membreño. Present teacher. Carla Nayeli Machado Ramos. Present. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda Díaz. Present. María Fernanda Morán Rivas. Present. Mirari Andrea Sánchez Facundo. Present. Salomón Heriberto Rivera Chacón. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Girón. Present, teacher. Walter Amilcar Ramírez Molina. I'm here. Wendy Sofía Orellana Calderón. Wendy Janet Baires Rojas. Present teacher. Jenny Carolina Tobar Velázquez. Present. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok, bien. Vamos a ver entonces a seguir con esto de el need to y el have to. Okay. Una pregunta, alguien tomó captura de, es que no alcancé a tomarle captura en día para repasar los ejemplos. Y no, ahí sí que le va a tocar ir de regreso al video para bajar sí, la Y voy a contar porque yo anote. Ah, okay. <risa> okay. Ajá. 
sí, no, yo hoy no le tomé. Siempre les estoy mandando, pero hoy no les no le tomé. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, people. So, to state urgency. Vamos a hablar cómo hacemos para decir algo urgente. Sí. Cuando algo es sumamente urgente. Thank you, Yolanda. Eh, vamos a ir a nuestro manual en our manual. Bueno, no. Vamos a pasar primero con los have to and ha, eh, uh, have to and need to. ¿sí? Vamos a hacer un último ejercicio de uno y del otro. Ok. Bye. Ahorita les voy a pasar el link aquí en el WhatsApp. Va, ya lo mandé aquí también en el Zoom. Y lo van a ir diciendo ustedes, ¿ok? Mientras ustedes lo van haciendo, me lo van diciendo, ¿sí? No, oigo, ya llegaron. Are you there yet? Yes. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Want to she listen has to, to you guys. walk the dog. I, I had to study for my exam. Mm -hmm. My exam. My exam. We okay. had to clean the car. Okay, everybody, please participate. Uh, what number? My mom number. has go shopping. Teacher, ahí sería ha o has, porque está hablando o sea, de yo, de yo. No, está hablando de mi mamá. De, de la mamá de ella, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Emma, Emma and Danilo had to tie. No, no sé cómo se dice esa palabra. Así, tidy. Tidy the kitchen. How Continue, people. Entre más repitan, entre más hablen, mejor para ustedes. Más practican el vocabulario. Vamos. Calum has back. He's back. He's back. Has He's back. To. Yes, has to. Has to. Ahí tiene que pronunciar bien ese tú. Sí, has to. Bien enfático. Has to pack his bag. Has to pack his bag. Jonathan's dad has to go to work. You have to take a shower. <gasps> I took a shower in the morning. <laughs> okay. The class, the class has to water the plant. The teacher has to correct for exam. Our exam, exam. Example. Mm -hmm. Now let's use don't or don't. Let's complete Teacher, the sentence. Teacher, significa neighbor. Neighbor. Yes. A neighbor. Neighbor es vecino. Neighbor. ¿A dónde lo ha visto? Where is it? En el don o dozen. 
and no, in no. and the number one, we don't or doesn't. Oh, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mi vecino, my neighbor. Mm -hmm. My neighbor doesn't have to work on Sunday. Continue. The cat eh, does do, do, don't know. I does yes doesn't does no, doesn't doesn't have have to, to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to go to school at the weekend. Mm -hmm. May and Khaled don't have to cook today. Jenna doesn't have to. ¿Sí? No se detengan, <laughs> denle los dos, no importa. Jenna uh -huh. doesn't <laughs> have to make the bed. bed. Luca bed. doesn't have to clean the floor. Yes. Floor. 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 Uh -huh. This is floor. Floor es otra cosa. Y floor or es otra cosa. Flower es otra cosa. Ok, oh, así que yes, teacher, Pero ahí floor. los representantes de la aerolínea, como ellos solo hablan en inglés, floor nos dicen. Mm, pero no se pronuncia así. Floor. Se pronuncia floor. Yeah. Ah, floor. porque es, nos dicen floor panel, nos dicen ellos así. Ok, pero no haga U, ya, yeah. haga una U aquí atrás, flow. flow. Ah, ok, ok. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The student don't have to wear a school uniform. Mm -hmm. My friend doesn't have to go to a school. These people don't have to play football. She doesn't have to take her to take English food today. Okay, now click on finish and take a screenshot and send it as, as evidence to the WhatsApp chat. Teacher, le di me aparece set my answer. It check my answer to. Check my answers. Scroll up. Take the screenshot to your score. My phone. Yolanda le apareció sin hacer. Ay, teacher, si yo ni sabía, hasta hoy día estoy viendo los botones que se tocaba y aparecía para ponerlo. Ah, ok, ok. A mí una pregunta me la tiró también, yo le había dado, she has to walk the dog, y me la tiró como had to. ¿A dónde, a dónde, what number? Number yo one. Yo todas las eh, tenía. Had to o has to. Pero no lo ha mandado. Sí, ya lo he enviado. No se lo veo. Yo los miro. Los que han enviado, esa que usted dice, todos lo tienen bueno. Okay, people, so let's go to the manual. Ah, dijimos que íbamos a hacer dos, ¿va? Uh -huh. 
pero mejor hacemos ese otro después, mañana. Y nos vamos al manual. Y vamos a ver cómo eh, decirle a alguien que algo es urgente. Ok, we are going to use some expressions to state urgency. State urgency. Urgency. Not just emergency, but urgency. Ok, so let's uh, read a conversation we have in the manual. <laughs> and these are the expressions to state origins we use the verb need and we use really need okay really really es como de vera es que de verdad lo necesito I really need urgen Exactly. Mm -hmm. We are stating urgency. That's correct. It's very important. It's very it's important. Or to say, I need that as soon as possible. Yeah. As soon mm -hmm. as possible. Yeah. As soon as possible. Pronto. Tan pronto, Lo más pronto como sea posible. posible. Tan pronto como sea posible. As soon as possible. Oh. Oh. I really need. It's very important. As soon as possible. So, an urgency means it's now or never. Yeah. This is a matter of urgency. So Mark and Brie are talking. These are two different ones, okay? I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. Okay? I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important right away. Okay. Usually we want to push. To push people to do something, right? And we need to press. We need to um, uh, state that uh, we need something for a certain time, for a deadline, okay? So this is when we use these expressions, yeah? I really need that memo break. Just a moment, please, okay? I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. ¿Y qué tal si a usted le dicen eso? Okay. Por ejemplo, Sergio, I really need you to call this client. ¿Cómo reaccionaría usted? ¿Qué me diría? Right away. Exactly. Right away. Right away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sería de inmediato, teacher, right away. Yes, solo que de inmediato tiene una, también otra, eh, sí, otra palabra, immediately. Yeah, immediately. Y podríamos decir right now. Yes, yes, you can say that. Right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say that. Pero tiene que darle la entonación correcta, porque si no le van a le van a decir como o se va a entender como que usted no le cree y le va a decir right now. Si dice así con esa entonación de pregunta, es como 
eh, re rechazar eh, la urgencia, ¿verdad? Como que ahorita, ¿ya? Yeah. Pero si usted le dice, right now, ¿ok? Ya, yeah, diferente. Yeah, intonation. Okay, let's listen to uh, Yolanda. You're going to be free. And um, Diana, please, you are Mark. Son dos, eh, or, eh, son dos conversaciones separadas. Okay, esta es una pregunta y una respuesta. Y luego esta es otra. Otra pregunta, o sea, otra y otra. Vamos, Diana. I really need that memory. Just a, a, a moment, please. Mm -hmm. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Mm -hmm. Flor, you are Mark. Jacqueline, you are Bree. Okay. And I really need that that memo, Brie. Jacqueline, you are muted. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, use a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it's very important. Right away. <laughs> okay, thank you. Herson, you are Mark. And Jenny, you are Brie. I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to my Mr. Wilson. Please, it's very important. Right away. Okay, there you are. So these are the expressions to state urgency. I really need. It's very important as soon as possible. And we can react in a very polite manner uh, in um, order to show that you are willing to help, right? To, willing to help. So let's move just a little while to the... Uh, reading exercise okay we have a this is this says it's a prayer work but we're going to do it in groups uh we're going to read the email and organize the activities what Alupe needs to do by importance go to page number 25 and your manuals please page 25 Okay, we need to organize in a list of importance, of urgency, <clears throat> the activities that Guadalupe has to do this month, okay? So let's read the email. The email is from his uh, boss, right? Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Very important tasks for this month. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it. Three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest sales reports on May the 26th. And then, aquí le falta una N, miren, and then 
write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it for hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards, Daniel Reese. Okay, who wants to read it? A ver. ¿Quién lo quiere leer? Vamos a ver. Okay, teacher. Please, go ahead. These are some of the texts for this month. I really need you to contact the first uh, three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You had three days to do it, three horse. It each day call the new clients from the last three weekends and get them the catalog information for June. You have today to do it one for each day. It's very important to send them to last sales report on May 26th and they will read it. And a new will come uh, letter for the new customer. Customer, you had one day to do it for horse. Finally, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You had two days to do it to horse each day. Organize your weekend. Thank you. Okay. Best regards. Okay, so aquí no dice weekend. Miren, dice week. Week. Uh -huh. Es que a veces tenemos como ya clavadas algunas palabras, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que mirar lo que estamos leyendo y de acuerdo a lo que ahí dice es como vamos a pronunciar. Vamos a ver todos, vamos a revisar algunas pronunciaciones, ¿ok? Vamos a ver hours. Horas se dice hours. Hours. A ver todos. Hours. 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 Uh -huh. hours. 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 Aunque lo vean con H, no lo vamos a pronunciar como J. Lo vamos a pronunciar como A. Hours. 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 Uh -huh. hours. A ver, la siguiente era catalog. 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 And stores. 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 Organize. 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 Okay. Vamos a ver. Lo vamos a volver a leer solo una vez más ahorita. A ver quién quiere leerlo, me lo tiene que leer desde acá, ¿ok? Desde la dirección de email. A ver. Se trabó el Zoom. Voy ahí. <ríe> ok, no Walter. Bien, there you go. Sorry, es que me quita el cuadrito ahí porque no lo veo. Para leer desde el from, hay un cuadrito de texto. Es una... Dice... From Daniel Reed at travel.com. Subject. Very important. Tax for this one. Very well look. These are some of the tax for this one. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Mr. Sanchez. You have three diet. Two diet. Three over each diet. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog or catalog information for information for June. 
You have two days to do it. One hour each day. It is very important to send the two latest latest sales re latest sales reports on my this twenty sixth. I'm the right. I'm the right. A new welcome letter for the new customer. You had one day to drive for hours. Finally, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have to dive to do it. Two hours each day. Organize your weeks. Thank you. Best record, Daniel Reese. All right. Thank you very much, Walter. Teach now, tell teacher, me. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Para decir la arroba o el punto, ¿cómo se dice? At. Y el punto es that. Viene siendo el punto como la pleca. No. No, no, no. Pleca es Porque slash. hay uno que nosotros le llamamos dash. No, ese es slash. Slash. Dash es oh. el guión. Dash. Ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Now I need to get here. No sé si puede escribirlo, ¿cómo es que se... Es el que punto? Estoy tratando de llegar para que lo vea. Okay, what's your email address? It's gr underscore beteta1980 at gmail.com. Okay. Okay. El que estaría de en it may, ese es el touch, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. El que está en, en medio de la E y la M en it may, ese es el touch. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, ajá, ok. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is dash and this is underscore. Underscore. Y che, el punto se dice dot. That. Mm -hmm. That. Con A. Yes. That. Mm -hmm. Underscore. This is dash. This is underscore. At. That. Okay. All right, people. The idea now is that uh, we need to go to the breakout rooms and you have to make the list, okay? Vamos a tomar cinco minutitos. Ustedes hacen la lista en orden de importancia. ¿Qué debe hacer primero? ¿Qué debe de hacer segundo? ¿Qué debe de hacer tercero? Guadalupe, okay? De acuerdo a la urgencia, a la importancia, etc.
Ay, que escuché que dijo algo de importante, pero no sabía de qué. Pero sí. Ok. Uno cada día. O una hora cada día. Ajá, una hora cada día. Tienes para hacerlo porque le va dando tiempo. En la otra tiene tres horas cada día y en esta tiene una hora cada día. Uh -huh. Entonces, es muy importante to send the, the lessons report. Mm. Oh, and the right. And... Yo creo Tal vez Ahí, ahí está, ah, respondió <risa> Teacher Tell me. Eh, Vamos a hacer lo más importante de Guadalupe You have to make a list In order of importance Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. What does she need to do first? Then what she needs to do second? Then third and fourth, right? Oh, right. Lee, mm -hmm. pero es de Guadalupe o, o de nosotros? Guadalupe. My or Guadalupe. Ah, Guadalupe, ¿verdad? El texto. Guadalupe. Yes. Okay, okay. Guadalupe. Gracias. Ay, Entonces ay. la number one sería Guadalupe need you to contact the first three potential customer. New. Um, Hola, teacher. He has need, tiene que ser. Um, Hello. To contact. Hello. La primera la estamos um, elaborando. No sé si estaría correcto así, solo para guiarnos. He has need to contact the first three potential customers. No, no, no. You have no. to write the activity. Okay? The activity. Si va a decir, uh -huh. tiene que, he has to, y luego la actividad. Si va a decir, ella necesita hacer algo, she needs to. Okay? Has to. Entonces, he has, ah, pero está, need you. Need you to. Entonces, ah, ya, he, nada. he need, he need, yes, to. He. She. 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 Okay. Sí, sí, si habían unos mal, teacher, nosotros estamos peor. <laughs> no, you are doing great. You are doing great. She Ese has... es el proceso general. Miren, el proceso general es primero comprenderlo, ¿verdad? Hasta que uno puede comprender algo, puede she... hacer el siguiente paso. ¿sí? There you go. Sí, tú. Entonces sería she need she to contact need to... the first three potential customers. Estaría correcto así. Contact the first three potential customers. Mm 
vaya Valentina ya. Mira si está dormido, está viendo el teléfono. Sí. Listo. Number two. Number two dice que él tiene que llamar. Idea, ¿Cómo le quedaría? Um, she needs to contact the first three potential customer. Hasta ahí. Yes. Okay. En eh, eh, la segunda. Los cuatro. Va, on, on my. Veintis. Twenty, twenty six. 26. Uh -huh. Creo que es 20, algo así, no sé. ¿El qué? ¿Cómo es, cómo es fecha? 26, mm. algo así, no sé. No, ahí sí, no sé. Yo 26, Claudia. <risa> sí. <risa> The Right a New Welcome. Pero esa sería la segunda oración, la tercera oración, va. Ajá, la tercera. Welcome letters. Y ahí le vamos a poner Guadalupe. No. Sí, from, sí, Guadalupe siempre. Ne, de, ni. Guadalupe, need, need to read. Right, and you welcome. When do you say letter? Mm -hmm. Que esa es letra, verdad? No. ¿Cuál? Letter de welcome. Letter. Yeah, carta, una carta. Ah, la nueva carta. Uh -huh. Costume. Entonces quedaría Guadalupe need read a new welcome letter for the new customer. Uh -huh. Y la segunda, ¿cómo le quedó? Uh, it's very important to send the two. Leis. No le vamos a poner ni. Sa, cua, ¿Cómo? Need, no. O oh, si ella necesita, no. Eh, en la segunda, como dice, it's very important, ¿verdad? Muy importante uh -huh. enviar, enviar los dos.
Okay, people. What do you think she must, uh, she needs to do first? What does she need to do first? Well, Lupe needs you to contact the first three potential customer in the list. Okay, needs to, needs to. Need, need to, okay. need you to es necesito que tú, need you to, necesito que tú. En este caso, ya dijo Guadalupe needs to, no need you to, ok? Bueno. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. What about the second activity? What does she need to do next? Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information catalog. for June. Mm -hmm. Catalog. Catalog. And the third one? Go, Kimberly, go. Number three. Hey, people, it's almost 10. Everybody, hurry up. Number three. Guadalupe mm -hmm. needs to write a new welcome letter for the new customer. And the number four? Teacher solo dijo que eran three. visit the two store in the Santa Tecla. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh, just a piece of it, okay? So first call the new clients, right? Second, write a new welcome letter. Third, send the two latest sales report. And fourth, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. Si usted lo pensó de acuerdo al tiempo, yes, urgency comes according to the time. Si usted lo pensó en la importancia de que si es el cliente lo más importante en la compañía, ok, that's true too. Entonces, cada uno va a organizar sus eventos, sus actividades de acuerdo a cómo. Eh, sea lo más importante para el desarrollo de su trabajo, ¿sí? Muchas veces puede ser que estemos equivocados y que no nos salgan las cosas por el tiempo y eso, pero ya es cuestión de organización, ¿verdad? Máxime, si el jefe nos organiza el tiempo y las cosas nos salen, pues, ¿verdad? Pero establecer urgencia, establecer prioridades, ¿verdad? Uh, the priorities, urgency. We need to organize all our activities in order to do it uh, on time. Okay, we need to. Teacher, ahí, to... ahí, debíamos tener, ahí debíamos tener en cuenta las expresiones que se menciona. Also, I really mm -hmm, need, también. it's very important. Mm -hmm. For example, yes. Yes, it is correct. It is correct. Ahí dependiendo también de cómo usted... Eh, lo haya tomado, como les digo, puede ser por el tiempo que tiene disponible para hacerlo, puede ser por eh, las expresiones que el jefe me está diciendo, ¿verdad? Y puede ser también por el tipo de actividad, ¿verdad? Ahí ya depende, pero en general sería así, ¿ok? In general. Ok, people, so, time is up. So, we are going to call the roll in a very quickly, quickly way. And today's turn for the session one-on-one -on -one is for Carla Nayeli Machado Ramos. Carla Nayeli, are you staying with me after the class? Carla Nayeli? Yes. Okay.
Yes. So everybody, please turn your camera on. And when I call your name, please remember, you have to say present. So let's do it okay. quick and be ready. Adriana Elisa Chavez López. Diana Elizabeth Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Flor de María Valladares de Torres. Present. Francisco Javier Quinteros Echeverría. Gerson Osvaldo Herrera de Sana. Jacqueline Samuel Araujo de Sura. Present. Juan Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Karen Gemina Membreño. Carla Nareli Machado Ramos. Present teacher, Juan Carlos. Díaz. Ok, Juan Carlos. Present. Yberly Miranda Díaz. María Fernanda Morán Rivas. Present. Merari Andrea Sánchez Facundo. Present. Salomón Heriberto Rivera Chacón. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Irón. Present. Juan Ramírez Molina. Present. Wendy Sofía Orellana Calderón. Wendy Janet Baires Rojas. Present teacher. Jenny Carolina Tobar Velázquez. Present. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok, people. If you have no questions, eh, mañana tenemos una práctica de toda la unidad. Entonces, mañana estaríamos haciendo la actividad que posteé en el, en el foro de discusión. Ok. Si usted ya la hizo, perfecto. ¿Verdad? Pero eh, mañana la vamos a hacer acá de lectura, ¿ok? Have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. See you no tomorrow. Falten. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Yes, please. See you on, fri <laughs> on Friday. See you tomorrow. See you on Friday. Yes, <laughs> on Friday. At work, uh, today is Friday. Uh, really? How come? So you you don't work on Fridays? Yes. Oh, okay. Nice. That's nice. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I envy you, Francisco. <laughs> yeah, because I work even on Saturdays. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, then take a good rest. You tomorrow, enjoy, too. enjoy your day off. Bye. Okay, Carla, here we are. Tell me, do you have any thoughts or is there any question that you have about the content in the class? Yes. Yes. Ahorita, en el último párrafo, no sé si las tengo correctas porque nosotros estábamos poniendo el si has o si no el fit me. Mm -hmm. Entonces, en no realidad, sé, está en porque este mis caso... compañeros estaban diciendo Guadalupe de primero y... y no como la tenemos, como la tengo yo, pues. Ok, ¿y me las puede mostrar? Sí, se las puedo leer. Ah, ok, oh. ok. Va, va, dele. Dele la primera. Vamos a ver cómo la tiene primera, la primera. Tengo, she needs to contact her three potential customers. Gramaticalmente la tiene correcta. Yo le ponía, yo le ponía por ahí un mensaje a usted en el chat cuando estaba en el grupo y le ponía, gramaticalmente está correcto. Cada uno lo iba a hacer la, el listado de acuerdo a, a lo que eh, analizara, ¿verdad? Si lo iba a hacer que la urgencia era por eh, el tiempo que tenía disponible por el tipo de actividad o porque el jefe le decía que esto era lo que tenía más importancia, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. eh, gramaticalmente yo le puse que sí estaba correcto, eh, Carla, ahí en el chat, no sé si lo vio. No, no me fijé. Yo siempre que me meto al chat, a las sesiones, en el chat les pongo las observaciones, porque a veces ah, okay. cuando ya entro eh, yo y, y, y empiezo que me hacen preguntas, eh, se desvían un poquito de eh, la actividad. Por eso uso mucho el chat para decirles sí uh -huh. o no. Entonces, um, si usted le puso, a ver, de regreso, la primera era esta actividad la que puso. Sí, sí, correcto. Ok, no, 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 first. No. no. La, la primera le puse que tenía que contactar a un customer proveedor o qué era. 
costa mas the three potential customers ajá correcto es exacto We need to contact first three potential customers. Ah, le vamos a poner la S, need. Sí. Mm -hmm. She needs she to needs contact, contact. Y, ahí y demás. Mm -hmm. Ok. La segunda yo la tenía, she has, ella tiene. She has to call the new client. Perfect. Mm -hmm. La tercera, she has. La tercera, she has to send the two latter soft report. Latest. Mm -hmm. Ah, latest, ok, gracias. Mm -hmm. Y la cuatro, she has visit the two stories in Santa Tecla. She has to. Siempre mm -hmm. acuérdese del tú, ¿verdad? Ah, she two. has to visit the two stores. Stores, okay. no stories. No le voy a mentir, Fitzel, no he hecho ninguna ahorita. Como mañana Ajá. es el viernes, quería hacer las de una sola vez todas. El asunto es que a las 8 de la mañana, cada semana, nos toman los datos, ¿verdad? Y si aparece que usted no ha presentado sus primeras cinco y que no vamos al día, pues la van a estar llamando, ¿verdad? Y va a quedar como, va a quedar marcada. Y ese es el detalle, no queremos que nos marquen, Ok, ¿verdad? no sabía eso entonces, Fitzel. Siempre, siempre tenemos que, por eso al principio de las clases, del primer día, les ponemos el requerimiento. El requerimiento es uh -huh, que correcto. después de cada clase, hacer la tarea. Y los días viernes tiene que estar hecha toda la unidad, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ya faltó la unidad 1, ahorita tiene que hacer las dos unidades, porque mañana, mañana sí nos toca eh, siempre, antes sí. de las 8. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está bien dicho, entonces ya lo voy a hacer. Ok, sí, sí, póngase a hacerla y usted puede trabajar en avanzada, el fin de semana, tómese su tiempo y usted puede trabajar ya, digamos, lo de la otra semana, ¿verdad? Y usted como usted okay. quiera, nadie la va a detener para hacerlo, ¿ok? okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye, good con gusto, con gusto, Carla. Have a very good night, my pleasure, bye. Bye.